Thank you. Thank you, Deputy Speaker. And I thank the member for Boothby for moving this motion, as it gives me a chance to talk about the disaster the NBN has been for many residents of Werriwa. Despite the spin, the NBN is a hodgepodge patchwork of a multi-technology mix that will rely on very aged copper network well into the future. In fact, the copper wires in my suburb have been there for 58 years. Mr Speaker, this is not a network built for the future. It is a scattergun approach that has been put together by the Liberal government. When the NBM was planned by the Labor Party, it was a network that enabled fibre to the premises connections for nearly all Australians. And for those who have that connection provided, that was provided during the early rollout in my electorate, um, they have brilliant high speed connections. Unfortunately, too few have the fibre to the premises. But what they do have is slow, unreliable uh, internet connections rely, reliant on copper connection if they have an MBN connection at all. The rollout is ongoing and delayed in Werriwa. Take the suburb of Long Point. Long Point uh, is a suburb in the bushland along the Georges River and it is heavily reliant on stable connections to the internet so uh, that it is made aware of bush, um, bushfires and so forth. Long Point is also just one example of many in my electorate and around the country where the failure of the rollout and the multi-technology mix. The people of Long Point have experienced frequent delays that have plagued the install installation of the MBN over this small suburb of just three seats. Emails from the MBN Co tell of the expected rollout to Long Point in the latter half of 2017. And yet today, in 2019, only a portion of the subject is, sub, suburb is actually connected. That's right, it's two years later and most people in that suburb are still waiting for the MBN connection. The latest problem, I'm told, is an infrastructure shortfall that is expected to be fixed by 2020. The MBN has provided the following explanation to me. This service area appears to be ready for the service and most premises will receive MBN by a fibre to the node or HFC technology. There are a small number of premises within the fibre to the node footprint that are unable to receive a connection. The email continues. In this instance, the distance of some of these premises from the MBN network means we can't connect properly the same way as we've connected others because of the length of the copper. The single degrades over distance and it wouldn't be possible to achieve a service that meets the minimum requirements. At this stage, the expected service availability date is January 2020. So three years after Long Point was originally scheduled for connection, some of the residents may get internet speeds of 25 megabits per second, hardly first world speeds for 15 kilometres away from Liverpool. Another example of why copper is not one of the best options. We have constituents who often have to go outside to find how our ground just to make phone calls. We have parents who are worried that a lack of internet access will mean their kids will fall behind at school. And there are university students that can't access multimedia and upload assignments. The MBN Co's own figures from February this year show that while the number of premises connected has increased by 38%, speeds were still slow and certainly not up to standard. Australia is now ranked 62nd in the world in internet speeds, falling yet another three spots since 2018. The Oakla Speed Test Global Index has Australia behind Kazakhstan's and Vape Verde. It was the Liberal government that moved the majority of the network to fibre to the nose, forcing the majority of users to rely on the aged copper network. It was then in 2016, under the same Liberal government, that fibre to the curb was announced as another way to deliver the NBN, again relying on copper wiring. The internet is meant to connect people through technology, not unite communities and connect people through sheer frustration at the complete failure of government policy. It's sad that in 20 years' time, my constituents will still be relying on the copper network a network that slows or becomes unusual, unusable just because it rains, a network that becomes nearly un unusable just because it's between 7pm and 10pm at night and the copper lines can't hand deal with the connection. 
Patchwork quilts won't serve a community. Patchwork quilts won't deliver high-speed internet. And patchwork quilts actually have a purpose, and it's not for the delivery of MBN. The government really does need to do better.